What's up everybody and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So the wait's over, the wait is finally over. I know that Jerry did go on a hiatus from his social media platforms, deleted a bunch of his stuff to make way for what is Fear of God 6 collection. Now I don't know about most of you guys but for me personally I was definitely highly anticipating what he was going to do for this respective collection. Now, I did take the day off to make this video happen, so if you do appreciate it, please hit the thumbs up button as it does go such a long way. I just really wanted to get this video out quickly. I know a lot of you guys are tagging me in Jerry's posts and stuff like that, so I thought, why not? Why not take the day off, edit and stuff like that, and get this out as quickly as I can. So rather than just boring you guys with me going through all the pictures and kind of deciding what I like, what I don't like and stuff like that, I decided to format this video a little bit different just because I feel like it's kind of boring watching me watch a video. I just don't think that there is much allure to that. So what I decided to do was link the video in the description. I'm going to be doing is kind of interpreting the video, kind of giving you my opinions on the video, as well as my opinion on just a few select pieces and some of the pictures to keep this video somewhat brief. While I'm doing my analysis or breakdown, I will have different pictures of your guys' responses to the collection. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So first and foremost, I did want to put the disclaimer out there that when it comes to art, there is always an aspect of interpretation. Now the interpretation might not always be right, and I'm not saying my interpretation of the video is right by any stretch, so I just want to put that out there to begin with, but I love the setting that Jerry puts for this video and for this campaign. I thought it was fantastic. First and foremost, he used the song So Will I, which is in my opinion, the best worship song of 2017. Bar none, don't at me. And yes, that is relative to Reckless Love and Tremble. Anyways, in terms of the casting, I really love how Jerry uses his son. Um, I think this is like a metaphor or somewhat symbolic of where Jerry's at. And this is strictly my opinion. Um, it might be in his personal life, or he's at with rel relative to his walk with God, or you know, with the clothing line. But I just think he uses a really good job of painting a picture for us to interpret, like what the symbolism of using his son is. I think that's really, really cool. And I sincerely believe that he's using um, Little Jerry as a metaphor for himself. As far as the rest of the casting, Jared Leto and stuff like that. I don't necessarily know like the story behind that in terms of why they casted who apart from you know telling the story of like the garments and putting on full display what six collection is all about so I think that's where it kind of lands for me so as the story unfolds we have little Jerry going through what looks to be the Bible uh, the reason I think that is because it's an old book um, and the Bible is also an old book or actually an old sequence of books. So that's why I think that's the Bible. And then he's reading it. And what I believe is going on is he's, as he's reading it, we're actually brought into what he's reading. And this is strictly based off of my opinion. I believe he's reading Psalms 23. That's the first thing that popped into my head. It's a very popular passage. Uh, where King David is pretty much jotting down what he's going through and like the verse and I'm gonna paraphrase here because it's off of my top of my head but it pretty much says as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil for my Lord is with me his rod and his staff it comforts me he makes me lay down in green pastures and he restores my soul again this is probably a paraphrase I probably butchered it but that's essentially what it says now to me, the setting really looks like the valley of shadow of death. You see smoke, dark, ominous. So why would he use Psalm 23? Now this is strictly conjecture, but in Psalm 23, David uses a ton of figurative language to point to where he was at uh, with regard to his spiritual place. David talks about walking through the valley of shadow of death. Now the valley of shadow of death could point to something personal, something spiritual. It could point to something broad, it could something ambiguous. It could, it could point to a plethora of different things. Maybe the criticism that he took from the last collection. I'm not so sure. However, I can tell you this for sure. Just like David going through the valley of shadow of death, Jerry finds his comfort in knowing that Jesus is omnipotent and omnipresent and he's in all and overall and his authority alone is enough comfort to get him through that place. 
Now again, this is completely conjecture. I could be totally wrong about this. This could be a complete air ball. In my opinion, I do see a little bit more symmetry and a little bit more concurrency, if that makes sense, with regard to God like breathing into fourth and then into sixth. I really see God's hand over the two and fifth kind of being in that middle one is good. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of great things in fifth but I don't recall a campaign really emphasizing the presence of God. Anyways, with all that being said, comment down below what you think. I might be stretching, I might be completely off the kilter, I might be off the base, but this is kind of how I interpreted it. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk about the collection. So to start out my opinions for six collection, I have to say that I see Jerry pulling from the past, the present, and the future and what I mean by that is obviously with fourth collection he did pull from the 90s and stuff but moreover I see different things coming back in subtle ways now we see the heavy layering that was a huge huge aspect that fourth collection emphasized on we see that coming back in this collection which kind of wasn't really around as much I mean there were the layering of the tank tops and stuff like that the mesh stuff from fifth but you see it a bit more pronounced in sixth collection as well as in fourth. Now, obviously he did away with the elongated aspect of things just because I think it's kind of tired. Um, he used that in third and then brought him to fourth and then I don't see it here in sixth, which I don't think is a bad thing at all. I think that's a really cool thing to revisit and I don't think layering will ever, like I, I never thought it was a fad to begin with, so I don't think it's really going anywhere and I think it looks really good the way a lot of these models did like the layering stuff. Now in fifth, there were some louder colors like paint and red and mustard and like the blue hats and like just a bunch of different colors that were added. This time around, it seems like he's really sticking true to the earth tones. He's staying true to like the monochromatic look, like the darker, edgier feel. And I personally love that. I think this is fear of God at its finest just using the creams, the blacks, the whites, the grays, the olives, I love it. I think that fear of God, this is the essence of fear of God being recaptured once again. So that's very, very good. As it pertains to the present and the future, you kind of see the different fits, you see the different buttons and stuff like that, that pull from other what brand, other brands are doing, which is like totally normal. It's not a knock on Jerry. As it always relates to fashion, there's really nothing new under the sun. Things are reinvented, repopularized, but there seldom is ever anything just like completely like brand new type of thing. But you definitely see tech wear and like tactical aspects of clothing really come to the forefront. I've been saying this for months. I really see tech wear being something uh, popping uh, come this year. I think 2019 is gonna be all about tech wear. That's just now with regard to certain pieces that just stick out to me personally, as you guys know, I've been wearing cargos all summer. I love cargos. Now my cargos aren't anywhere as close to as sick as these ones the snap buttons at the bottom you have that belt that comes on like it's just so so nice such a nice detail i'm a huge huge fan of those pants i really love the fact that the flannels are back the ones from fourth collection were sensational quality was there very very soft and i just yeah i really enjoyed the fourth collection of flannels so i'm really looking forward to those coming back so that's another piece that stuck out to me the outerwear is killer that first picture of the denim jacket Oh, it's so, so good. The details, the lines, um, the fabric, it looks like that they use the way it fell and the way it was like formed on the, on the model. Oh, it's so, so good. That denim jacket is flames. Uh, the outerwear in general is so good. Um, I love some of the other aspects. I love the belt around like the area of where the waist is. It's so good. The outerwear is very, very good in my opinion. It's just overall for this go around 4-6 collection. I think it's really brought back the ideology of meshing streetwear with designer. Now, I know there's a lot of brands out there that claim to be designer, uh, that really cater to the streetwear culture, but you don't get the craftsmanship, you don't get the materials, you don't get the quality control. When it comes to Fear of God Mainline, I really think they do an outstanding job executing this idea. You obviously have the modern cuts, you have the really cool looks and stuff like that. You have everything as it relates to like that contemporary look, but you don't miss out on that designer aspects, which uh, points to quality, craftsmanship, materials, attention to detail. All of these things I've always gotten from Fear of God Mainline, and I just think Jerry's one of the only people to execute this well. Now, onto the negative aspects of this collection. For me personally, I don't really vibe with the heavy, heavy branding. 
um, in certain aspects like the t-shirts okay I really like the blanket that's definitely doable but with like the six collection branding I just think that can be dated also there were a few pieces that felt a little bit redundant from previous collections uh, that's not anything too too bad I guess if you want it by all means like don't let me change your opinion but that's just something to take note of as well I thought like this was gonna be a complete reinvention kind of thing um, I don't mind the paying the homage to but taking like exact pieces and just kind of really doing like really minute like fixes to them I felt like I don't know like for lack of better words I felt like that was just a little redundant lastly onto the shoes now, this is a very, very controversial topic because there's other YouTubers, Instagrammers, social media people that are just trashing on them. Like, I can't believe how much criticism these shoes are taking. It truly is incredible to me. Um, now, in my opinion, I love that. You guys can, you guys hate on them all you want. Like, that means I'm gonna be able to get a pair. Now, they're not gonna be cheap, they're 395, but I'm looking forward to these shoes, guys. Like, it's so funny because like, the people who are so upset about Jerry getting inspired by like Rick Owens and other brands and any of that nature, um, they're also criticizing him for doing something different. So which one is it? Like, do you want him to try something new or do you want him to kind of just grab an Air Force One and, and put Fear of God all over it? Um, I'm proud of Jerry for taking a risk. In my opinion, I think there is gonna be a very good reward at the end of this risk because I personally like them a lot. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what I can do with these. I probably wouldn't wear them how Jerry did. I'd probably like let my, like, my bottoms go over the shoe and kind of have it be a little bit more sleek almost wearing it like a, like, like a mid-top van or something like that. I think it's gonna look really good. I'm really looking forward to acquiring these shoes because yes, I will 100% sure be acquiring them. Anyways guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Do you agree with my opinions? Do you not? Did I accurately depict the storyline or the narrative of uh, what that video was about? I definitely wanna go back and forth and chop it up because as you guys know, I love talking Fear of God. It's one of my favorite brands. Before I let you guys go, I did want to let you know that it is a major privilege of mine to get to make these videos. I can't emphasize enough how humbling it is that you guys rock with the channel and you mess with the channel and all that good stuff. And I promise you guys, this is my commitment to you. I will never take you guys for granted because yeah, it's just a privilege, man. And this is awesome. So thank you for rocking with the channel as always. And as in every video here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm going to say peace and be blessed.